hoodies, hats, Iron Man pajamas. Everybody's dressed down here at Independence High School from the kicker to our male athlete of the week, Jordan Wiley, to me. But hey, those are the perks when you get to put in work on Thanksgiving Day. There's nothing better than practicing on Thanksgiving. That means that you're usually in the semifinals, and if you're in the semifinals, that's a pretty good year. The Falcons' good year was extended by the great play of their junior quarterback, Jordan Wiley, up north in a quarterfinal clash with the one seed, to Larry Western. It was hard. It was a lot of hype. We are ninth seed, their first seed, and we had to just really come out, and I had to step up as a leader and lead the team to a victory. He managed the game well uh, in some bad weather conditions. So he didn't make any big mistakes and that's what we need from him. It's no wonder Jordan's on top of his game in these Division Three playoffs. The Independence Falcons have spent four years in the Division One SWYL with the likes of BHS, Stockdale, and others. Playing D1 in the Power League, it helps us and it preps us because we're more athletic than a lot of the D3 teams at the ninth seed. We've seen the best and the best. It doesn't bother us. We'll play anyone, any place, any time. Football's football. The Falcons have practiced on Thanksgiving the past three years and are on the road again, this time to face Dinuba. You know, we talked about our kids that, you know, this is the third time in four years we've been to the semifinals, haven't gotten to the finals yet. Be thankful for being able to play football today. So we're kind of talking about what squad's going to break through to the finals and why not this group. For his 181 yards and two touchdowns, leading the Falcons to their third semifinal game in as many years, Jordan Wiley earns a plaque provided by Kern Trophies and is our male athlete of the week. At Independence High School oh, on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Casey Kearney. Can we get a